Hi, and welcome to The Running Channel. I'm Andy, and today, along with Anna, we're going to be taking a look at sustainable and ethical running shoes. Yeah, maybe you are trying to become more sustainable in the way that you live your life. Perhaps you're trying to recycle more, reduce your single-use plastic, or reduce your carbon footprint. Brands are making it easier than ever before to be more aware of these types of environmental issues. So before we dive in, please do hit subscribe and tap the bell icon so you get notified when we upload new videos all about running every week. But for now, let's dive in and take a look at some of our favorite sustainable and ethical shoes. Sustainability can mean lots of different things to different brands. So as we take you through all of the shoes, we'll explain what qualifies them to be in this video. But broadly speaking, if a shoe has been labelled in some way sustainable or ethical, it could be because the manufacturers aim to limit the use of single-use plastics, they've incorporated recycled materials into the manufacture of the shoe, or perhaps they've developed a manufacturing process which aims to be carbon neutral. It could mean that the shoe is vegan friendly, so no animal products are used in the manufacturing process of the shoe. Or it could mean that they are ethical, so ensuring good working conditions in the factories where they're made and a fair wage being paid. So here are some of our favourites that fit into those categories. This is the Adidas Prime Blue Ultra Boost 20. So what makes this shoe sustainable is that the upper is actually made from plastic. So it's reclaimed coastal plastic that gets melted down, spun into a yarn and then knitted into this upper. And that's all part of Adidas's pledge to be free from using virgin polyester. So polyester that's made specifically to make something else by 2024. So the shoe itself is super comfy. So it's pretty lightweight for the sort of look of it. It looks like quite a heavy shoe, but actually it's quite surprisingly light felt really good on some steady runs, some nice long slow stuff and I wouldn't necessarily take it out to do faster sessions but overall it was a really great shoe to run in. So the fit is true to size, I'm a UK six and a half with a slightly wide foot and despite the fact that it's got this sort of booty all-in-one attached upper it didn't actually affect the fit of the shoe at all. I had plenty of room in the toe box, which sometimes I struggle with. And the lacing actually comes up much higher on this shoe than with other Adidas shoes and with other brands as well. But that didn't cause a problem with the fit, despite the fact that I have a bit of a wider foot. So the Adidas Prime Blue Ultra Boost 20 for me was one of my favorites that is in this roundup, just for how comfortable it was all round. This is the Lunge Classic Run, and for anyone out there who hasn't heard of Lunge, and I'll admit I was one of those as well, it's a German company, and actually currently they only ship to the EU and to Switzerland, so worth bearing that in mind. Lunge have an orthopedic background, so think walking and orthotics, and you can tell that as soon as you put them on, because actually unusually for a regular running shoe, the removable insole has a ridge of foam along its centre, which is a little bit like orthotics if you've ever worn those before. Essentially it's aimed at stimulating natural movement of your feet but it does feel a little bit unusual and it's not normal to I guess have that kind of feature in a regular running shoe. The shoes themselves are vegan and contain only clean and non-toxic materials. In fact everything in the shoe from the laces to the thread used to the materials all conforms to something called the Ocotex 100 rating which means it's all been thoroughly tested to make sure it doesn't contain any harmful substances. Lunge also say that their manufacturing processes used are ecologically sensible and socially compatible with strict German guidelines, which is reassuring for the overall manufacture of the shoe. A final point on the sustainability aspect of these shoes, it's quite a thick rubber outsole made from something called Hexa Foregrip. You can actually send these off to selected partners of Lunge and have them resold like you would your more traditional everyday shoes. So that's something that I guess speaks to the long life purported for these shoes. Interestingly, out of the box, on the box, it says that you should wear them in for up to 100 kilometers for optimal comfort, which does speak to the longevity of the shoe. Although wearing a running shoe in for 100 kilometers does seem completely contrary to what we normally do with performance running shoes nowadays. Actually heading out and running in them, they fit really nicely. The company did ask me to measure my feet in terms of actual length in millimeters to make sure that I got the right size. That seemed to work well for me. They fit nicely. They feel like an old fashioned shoe, I suppose. There's, there's no high tech foam in these. They say they use 80% EVA, which is more than a lot of other manufacturers, but they are heavy and they do feel like a heavy old fashioned shoe. They actually do have, I guess, what you might consider a, a medial post on the inside here. 
allegedly to provide pronation support. I, I don't need a pronation support and I didn't find that too obtrusive when I was running in them. The aesthetic might not be for everybody, they do look like quite an old fashioned shoe. But if you're looking for something that you could use casually, that you could use for general everyday walking and some light running, but not looking for something high performance, then these, these could be the shoes for you, particularly if you buy into the ethical credentials. This is the Veja Condor. So Veja is a fashion brand that are known more for their lifestyle shoes, but they've taken the plunge into the running space and this is the result, the Condor. So the Veja Condor is made from 53% recycled materials. The midsole's got some really interesting stuff in it like banana oil and cane sugar. And the upper is made from recycled plastic bottles. So loads of recycled materials go into these shoes. They're also made in a factory in Brazil that treats its workers with equal rights. So that's the sustainable and ethical side of these shoes, but what are they like to run in? Well, they're not my favorites. I would say that I found that there was a lack of sort of energy return and bounce within this shoe. It is their first stab in the running space though. So I would actually give them total kudos for the fact that they've tried and would hope that they'll sort of de develop their technology a little bit more in the future when it comes to running. But yeah, for something like long distance running, I would say that they didn't really give me the energy return that I would have liked to with these. They are marketed as a neutral running shoe and all in all, I mean, they look great. They're made out of recycled materials. And so if you're looking for an ethical and sustainable shoe to run in, then it wouldn't hurt to give these a go. This is the Scarpa Spin Ultra. Now Scarpa might be better known for their mountaineering or climbing shoes, but this is a great trail shoe, so much so that it made it into our roundup of the best trail shoes earlier this year. It's a mid-weight trail shoe at 280 grams and a six millimeter drop, and it also happens to be vegan. That means it's made using materials that aren't sourced from animals, nor have been used in any form of animal testing. It's a comfortable, responsive trail shoe, and it uses Vibram's light base outsole, which is one millimeter thinner than some other Vibram trail shoe outsoles, which makes it that little bit lighter. It doesn't have a rock plate, but I never had any problems with that on my runs, even on pretty rugged terrain. And it's a really good all rounder as far as trail shoe goes. Some nice little details like a little loop on the tongue here to tuck your laces underneath instead of having them flapping around. And then overall, I'd say it comes up as quite a wide shoe. So if you're looking for a wide, vegan trail running shoe, then this is the one for you. Next up, we have the Vibram Five Fingers V-Run. So first off, full disclosure on this one, these are a barefoot shoe. And in order to run barefoot or in minimalist shoes, you do have to put the work in in order to get used to them. So you can't really just go straight from running in your normal running shoes to then transitioning to barefoot. We've got a video of barefoot tips from Anna McNuff on the running channel. So do check that out if you are interested in the barefoot route. But with Vibram, the sole is made from recyclable materials and they are also vegan friendly. So if you're willing to put the work in to try and run barefoot and or in a minimalist shoe, then absolutely give Vibram a go. It was a very strange feeling running in these. You really do feel like your foot is moving in a completely different way. You're using so many different muscles and bones in your foot to normal when you wear running shoes so your toes fit into these individual toe bits and you measure the sole of your foot so that you can get the right size for them to be a really snug fit they are a very snug fit they felt like a glove on my foot so Vibram also use recyclable materials in their packaging and they also have their own sustainability program called the Sustainable Way. So this company is working really hard in the sustainability market. So if you are a fan of barefoot running, as we know that there are lots that watch the running channel, then Vibram is the market leader when it comes to barefoot and minimalist shoes. So we had to include it in the Sustainable Shoes Roundup because they are one of the companies out there that are doing lots to help the environment too. This is the Allbirds Tree Dasher and what makes this shoe sustainable is this upper that is knitted 
from eucalyptus trees and in the midsole you've got sugarcane so this shoe is a hundred percent carbon neutral and that is a combination between all birds using sustainable materials in the first place but also offsetting any carbon that is created in the process of making their shoes and shipping them so with the all birds tree dasher i really wanted to love this shoe for running in but the thing was is i felt that it was quite stiff in the midsole so it didn't really give my foot much flexibility it would be okay for some slower runs a couple of miles maybe some recovery runs but actually what i've used this shoe for the most is doing walking uh, it feels super comfy to walk in the fit is true to size it fits my wide foot at the front perfectly and the booty with the elasticated entry here just feels super snug and fits really really nicely so overall the all birds tree dasher is good for some recovery miles and some slower runs but not in my opinion built for any kind of speed stuff it's a beautiful looking shoe though and they're doing a great job of using recycled materials to make such a lovely shoe so there you have it. That's our roundup of the sustainable and ethical shoes that are out there at the moment. What did you make of them? Did any of them take your fancy? Or do you take any of those things into consideration when you're buying your running shoes? Let us know in the comments below. And while we've got your attention, don't forget to check out some of the other videos on the running channel that we think you'll love. See you next time.